Call 94.9 FM Al with Fuka Michelle. Uh, and Alex Clare is playing at the Depot this Saturday, and we're supposed to call him and insert the code, and then he's going to pick up, I suppose, yeah. on our end? Yes. Okay. <laughs> The white man overbike going right now. Awesome. Hello. Hi. Alex. Alex Claire. Yeah. How's it going, man? Hey, it's great. It's uh, Fook and Michelle from Salt Lake City, Utah. How are you? Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. We uh, our bus broke down this morning, just outside of uh, somewhere in uh, somewhere in um, Pennsylvania, and we're on our way to Detroit right now. Oh, wild! Um, so hopefully, we'll get there for the show tonight. <laughs> but yeah, this is the the dramas are being on the road. Oh, yeah. Goodness. That's awesome. Well, we're excited to have you in town, Depot, uh, this Saturday nights. Tickets still available. And uh, I'm we're, I'm I'm personally excited to have you on the phone because ever since I heard the song Too Close, uh, which is an amazing song, uh, this might be a stupid question, but is it about a woman or did you write the song about some something or someone else? It's the, to put it in very short terms. It's about the reclamation of boundaries. Um, you can you can take from that whatever you would like, but <laughs> yeah, it's about it's about getting yourself into a situation that you should never have been in in the first place and realizing that you have to uh, have to get out of it. Well, the the reason why I ask specifically is it about a woman or a relationship that you are in is because I can only imagine some of the excuses that I've used to get out of a relationship, sort of the "it's not you, it's me" sort of thing. And sure. just actually saying the words, sweetie, you know, this isn't working out because I'm just too close to love you. And her going, I'm sorry, you're what? <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. You're- I think the point is, if you have, a, if you have like a relationship with somebody and it, you're, the, the idea is that if you were friends first, you know them on a, on a personal level before you have a level of infatuation. If you miss out on that level of infatuation, then uh, sometimes the passion isn't there, you know? So you can be like, too close to someone to love them. Yeah, you know sort of their ins and outs too well. The the, the magic yeah, of that sure. initial, that, that chemistry is no longer there or or was never there. Sure. Okay, well, that makes me feel a little bit better about it. Cool, man. Yeah. I'm glad I- we can help you out today. <laughs> <laughs> um, that song was so huge for you, you that you put in the uh, micro, Microsoft commercial, and then all of a sudden you were sure. just kind of worldwide. Um, what did you did you expect that after it it got in the commercial? Nope, you never, you, you you hope you know you hope, but you never know you never know. So uh, I was hopeful, and uh, it, was, it was it was good to be hopeful. It all came good in the end. Uh, is it? What, did you ever have? And I think this is more for artists back in the day who were like, oh, "My music will never be used to promote a product." Was that was that ever an issue for you? No, I think the reality is nowadays that you know you kind of have to uh, take opportunities when they come, and it was a great opportunity. And you know, I put my music out to countless people around the world. So yeah, I'm happy. Uh, you're a pretty interesting cat. Just reading online about you, and I did not know you're an Orthodox Jew. I am an Orthodox Jew. Yes. And uh, one of the things that this, aside from, you know, not performing on the Sabbath, uh, you're also, you, you don't take pictures with, with female fans, and why is that? No, I take, I take pictures, I take pictures, but I don't, um, the only person I have, like, physical contact with of the opposite gender is my wife. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's important for trust if you're on the road to have complete security and peace of mind, and, uh, you know, to give her peace of mind. So one of the conditions of that is, you know, like, no physical contact with I'm the opposite opposite gender, you know. And uh, when you tell people that, you're usually quite touched. Um, a lot of people assume I'm just a germaphobe and don't like so, you know, communicating with people. But yeah, I have photos taken with people and very, you know, engage with people and, and chat and be happy. But you know, so you can have a you can have a interpersonal relationship with someone without physical contact. Um, but you know, it's kind of taboo nowadays. So, you know, to to have that mentality. But you know, keeps me out of trouble. Yeah, it just keeps my head in a good place, and you know. People want to duck in yeah. with the selfie all the time and just kind of, you know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, you know, people are genuinely respectful. People are genuinely respectful, and you, know, you have to respect other people and understand why they, why they would be, um, why they would be offended when you say like, "I can't hug you" um, in a photo, you know. But it's cool. Well, you know, most people, most people are very respectful. Uh, does this also, in just in daily life, when uh, I, I don't know, you're you're meeting someone for purely business purposes, a woman wants to shake your hand, is that also a fair button or? Oh. Um, technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. There is, um, there is, there is room to be uh, slightly more lenient. You know, you, you, embarrassing someone is is definitely not allowed. 
you know. And uh, if you're going to cause someone serious embarrassment, um, contextually, there are there's, there's room to be a little bit more lenient. But, um, you know, but, yeah. Okay. Try my best to stick to it. We are talking with Alex Clare. He'll be performing at the Depot on Saturday night. I was curious about your live show. Uh, because you've got yeah, such a po- let's talk about the live show. We're playing a live show on uh, Saturday night, so it's a good thing to talk about. You've got such a powerful voice. You're obviously a fantastic <laughs> singer. So I was curious if you like jump behind the ones and twos for a little bit, do your thing, <laughs> come out and sing, or the no, band I, takes care I of most play of it. I sing and I play guitar in the live show. That's kind of it. We have um, people who are much better at doing that stuff live than me playing with me. So you know. makes more sense to just uh, to, 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 to get my guys in to do it. Then I can focus on the singing. You know. Yeah, I thought that would be uh, I thought that would be complex. Do you also do when you're when you decide? Do you ever just go to clubs and say, "This is Alex Clare, the DJ. Don't sing at all, and just focus on getting people to dance." <laughs> there, I don't tend to go to clubs very often, um, but yeah, yeah, it's happened. It's happened in the past. Uh, have you ever been to Salt Lake City before? Have you ever been to Salt Lake City I before? Have, yeah, we played we played at the Depot last time as well, same venue. Well, about about a year and a half ago. It was a really lovely show. It's a beautiful city. Oh uh, yeah, we had uh, a good time. Well, good deal, man. We're uh, we're psyched to have you back again. It's the depot. We're looking, we're looking forward to uh, we're looking forward to playing the new album to you guys. One second, sorry. We're looking forward to playing the new album to you guys. There's a lot of amazing new tracks that I'd love to speak to you about. But next time. All right. Well, very next good. Time. Alex, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Buy some tickets and uh, see Alex there. Thanks again, man. Uh, bye.